Hey, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm Hilka Empath, and I just like having these little talks and the way I feel about things. It is a pretty good day. My world hasn't changed very much, and I can imagine how many other people's worlds has changed significantly. I only go out twice a week as it is. I don't like to go out on weekends anyway because there's too many people out, so. This, for people like me, yeah, it's just another day that I've jumped in on some some mainstream media and uh, was looking at some different stories throughout the world, how this story is unfolding. See, I always had different belief systems because my background has always been different. So you think about people just just as like a baseline, just layman example, okay? I'm just going to use this one. I have more, but I'll just use this one. So you have people that have, uh, <clears throat> are born to two parents. Parents intentionally love each other, get married, have you, raise you. Eh, it's not all love and light. It ain't 100%, but you do all right. Go on to college, and then you, you know, get married. And, and, and go down that trajectory too, right? No, no, no serious feelings hurt. Yeah, there's some resentments here and there, you know, but for the most part, a good life had by all parties, right? Then you have people that, you know, they weren't born to parents that loved them. There's people that were born under conditions of rape, you know. Um, there's people that have been born in great extremes, extreme poverty, you know, and, uh, their parents don't love them, you know, don't, don't have the mentality to, uh, to, to give them a better life because, heck, you're their meal ticket to give them a better life, you know, so, <clears throat> not everybody's a good parent, but when people are born with parents that are good, they can't imagine, they can't imagine what it's like to have, you know, to live with neglect and not have enough food and, you know, things like that, and see abuse, and, and, uh, just all kinds of nasty part of life, you know, all that lower vibrational behavior, they just can't exist it, because they've always lived in a higher vibrational frequency, so, why I see it is, 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 is because our spirits are just here to have experience, full spectrum experience, and there's, there's a lot of people that, that have had pretty relatively unscathed lives. Their lives have been really good, you know. And they haven't had the the the, the spectrum of, of of spirit of of experience that a lot of people have. So, here comes here comes the bulldozers dozers to level the playing field because we are human beings. We have free will, you know. We have a, a chance every day to make heaven on earth. But no, people haven't done that because there's this mentality that exists more than it doesn't exist. When I'm saying that, what I mean is more than 51% have this mentality and they put them themselves in good standings that they think that there's like a hierarchy and that includes people. And people are all the same. People have always been all the same. And But for some reason... It's just lack of freaking intellect is what it is. Is people that lack imagination, a lot of lighter skinned colored people. It's like the brown your skin is, the more imagination you get. I don't know. It's weird. No, it's not necessarily true. There's plenty of talented people out there. It doesn't go by the shade of your skin. It goes by the vibration of your frequency and more and more people hopefully are going to take this time while the whole world is controlled alt deleting the whole world is resetting they're just freaking holding the power button down so everybody just freaking you know the motherboard resets and freaking clear and then reboot and, you know, we have a chance to make it a better world, or we're just going to get more of the same. I really don't care. I'm really pretty much over all of it anyway, you know. I was made to go within three years ago when I took a $70,000, $70,000 pay cut to hang out with mom, you know. The world didn't care about me then. It didn't. And I just kept saying, you know, people got to start living from their heart and less from their ego. And it didn't happen and didn't happen. And 
freaking the freaking stock market changed or the stock market plummeted 3,000 points today. It hasn't done that since 1987, you know? And the thing of it is, is like they had all these, these like economics, it's just a reindeer game, man. It's just a made up game. It's, that's all the stock market is. It's a reindeer game for freaking greedy white dudes, right? And they make up the rules and then, oh, they'll change the rules so it benefits them and all this stuff. And there's all these checks and balances to make, you know, make no mistake, they're going to end up rich. Don't you worry. As some people will lose some stuff, you know, but that's all right. And then they, they, they implement all of these, these, you know, na the national guards, you know, so we get to see freaking f more fat dudes in uniforms all over the place. You know, the, just the lack of the fact that these, these, these organizations that pay themselves so much, you can't even make your, keep yourselves fit. So I don't take any of them seriously. They're all freaking jokes to me. They're all just, you know, but they, 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 they activate the guard, right? So my brother has been in the guard since 1989 because he can take leaves of absences and go to work in this part of the government, but it still goes toward your time and grade. Now he's a lieutenant colonel, so if he gets activated, that's like a thousand bucks. A, you know, it's just more for freaking more people to get rich. It's, I went, had to drop off a, a sheet to the paper of mom's caregiver place. I had to drop off a sheet today and, and, uh, they have freaking hand sanitizer, like on every table. Can't get any in the stores, but the state employees, you know, they probably get boxes, you know, that they get from, you know, direct distributors and stuff like that. So they get to take their stuff home. And I asked him like, Hey, is there any way that we can get some of this stuff too? Oh no. I'm like, well, you know, good old freaking Katie Brown, biggest freaking idiot, man. If I ever see that chick, that freaking Katie Brown, governor, governor, governor of Oregon, she's just a freaking dipshit, man. Just people like that. They don't have any imagination. They just freaking blow horns and, and, you know, cause problems for people as you go on in your freaking, white privilege and self-righteous little bubble on your hill where you live, you know. It's just stupid, but hey, this is all the stuff that's changing. This is all the stuff that's changing because people, you know, Oregon, there's just too many guns. You can just let them all have their own guns. They'll go freaking start taking stuff what they want, you know, because that's what egomaniacs do. They just take what they want. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't care about making sure that everybody gets a fair share that's it's that mentality that has gotten us where we are you know when people that are paying themselves $174,000 a year are telling people they're not worth $1,000 a month they're not worth 12,000 13,000 14,000 15,000 you know it's just it's the karma's coming I don't feel bad about it at all I've been waiting for, my spirit's been waiting for the karma to come back around since freaking <laughs> Turtle Island was been overtaken and they just have been racking up this karma and we have opportunities to do better and better, you know. The country could step into its power, but it stepped into its shadow and it always has. It's been stepping into its shadow since then because the people that run it are in their shadow. They don't care about collective consciousness. They don't care about enough for everybody. They care about themselves and if their own personal needs are coming. Do you see the, the, the governor of Oklahoma is telling everyone to stay home and then he goes out and eats with his family and is this like business as usual, you know what I mean? It's just like, is the letter of the law and the spirit of the law and the spirit of the law got o overtaken by the ego folks and... And hopefully, what I'm hoping is people are going to start going within. And they're going to start looking up things like the Battle of Los Angeles. And, and Matilda um, O'Donnell McElroy, her interview. And, uh, and start looking up people like Dolores Cannon and Edgar Cayce. And, and, and start looking at, at, at quantum things. That's what I'm hoping old people, people will start doing, you know. And I don't, well, you can't watch sport. That's what, it's so beautiful to watch this play out because I was wondering how it was going to happen. I'm like, how are you going to get the whole, I knew the whole world was going to control all, delete, and reset. I'm just like, I wonder what, I didn't realize it would take a virus 
this virus. I don't think I, there's people that are. It's a big deal. <laughs> like no, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I don't. People have their own opinions. You know, you can have what what you want. Mostly, I see. I think people are freaking dirty pigs, anyway. As it is. I mean, how many dudes freaking go to the bathroom and don't wash it because they don't care because it's their own personal body parts. So in their mind, they're like, nah, I'm just spreading my germ. I'm just spreading me. Everybody likes me, so I'm just spreading a little bit. You know, they don't care about that. You know, I mean, how how long is personal? Ask the teachers. Ask all the teachers that don't get paid enough in the world if if kids care about personal hygiene. How many of them don't shower? Faces is all broken out and stuff because they don't wash their pillowcases and change their sheets. So because not showering in the you know, it's like how when is the accountability going to start coming in? I wonder. But it'll be interesting to see how people that that are staying home how they how they direct their energy because we all just have this energy in us you know or vibration you know and 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 most people I think you know either there's like the dra backdrop people I'm not getting into the backdrop people the plastic people today but you have all these different spectrum of vibrational beings and um, and it's like it's like uh, it's 2020. Now it's time to that that there should be enough vibrational spiritual beings on high vibrational spiritual beings on this planet that that we're doing more that you know like more and more people are stepping in their abilities like telekinesis such as myself and more and more people start practicing these things you know and um and it's just not happening yet so I'm really I'm waiting for the accountability you know. But I think things, my, the way I look at it, I think that things are, oh, that's why this is happening, because people of, of them by themselves haven't made the right choices. So, universe is going, all right, here here it comes, here comes the karma rug, and, and it freaking gets shaken out on the cycles. And a lot of people have done the work and have freed themselves up and aren't making the same behaviors, and they've, done, they've changed their lifestyles to put themselves and raise and, and put themselves in a higher vibrational frequency. And, and so, hey, we're fine. You know, it's everybody else. It's just, it's just a freaking train wreck of a pony show. What do you do? Uh, I think that's about all I got for now. I hope you all have a rad day. Peace.